the main event, we look at... I'm going to look at some of the statistics. I'm going to read you some of the statistics. It's a five-round fight. They went at it, right? It was one of the best fights, I think, women's fights of the year. Um, Mackenzie Dern, she landed a total of 224 strikes. Yan Zhao Nan landed 151 strikes. Now, that's a pretty big gap, right? What do you think yeah, about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, I I know the decision was like, was it a draw, was it Jan's? But uh, for me, watching the fight, I think that every time Jan landed, it had a little bit more of like that impact, you know? The more significant strikes of the fight were coming from her. So um, I see, you know, Mackenzie landing a few more, but I think a lot of it was also ground strikes and... They were all to set up a submission. It wasn't like she was going out there and trying to finish it with ground and pound. She was just throwing uh, pitter-patter shots sort of to try and get her arm under the neck. Had she thrown a couple of harder ones, I think she probably would have got her out of there in the fifth. I was screaming at my phone, just throw a little bit harder. I'm like Team McKenzie all the way. Hate to be biased, but I love McKenzie. Um, so, yeah, I would have liked to see her go a little harder with that. But Jan looked great for someone who has a very limited... Uh, BJJ background she did really well and especially in that fifth round to last four and a half minutes not getting submitted by someone like McKenzie yeah the second round as well like you know Jan came out in the first round did really well defending the takedowns and kept the fight on the feet and then McKenzie came back in the second round and, and pretty much dominated around almost you know escaped some dangerous positions Jan did you Sorry. know um, McKenzie it was I was kind of shocked you know what I mean like how well she defended against McKenzie because usually McKenzie gets girls in those positions. She finishes the fight. We've seen her get early finishes with submissions against high level, you know, girls in the division. So were you shocked by like how well she, because she said in that post fight, like I'm a white belt. She's a black belt. You know what I mean? Like, I think I did really well against her. Yeah. I mean, she did really well for those two rounds. All that McKenzie needs is like one submission, you know, and that's usually the end of the night for most people. So it just shows that she's like improving in her game. Maybe she's a white belt right now, maybe not for too much longer. I'm sure that they'll be looking at that after that fight. Maybe she'll end up getting her blue belt soon. But um, McKenzie also makes it like super awkward. She's not like someone who goes for double legs or something, you know, easy to defend a double leg if you put in the hours of learning how to sprawl and learning how to you know stuff the head but someone who's willing to just throw themselves onto their back to take you down like it's super awkward and it's hard to fight someone who's super awkward like that i have experience fighting roxy you know someone really awkward in their fighting style so yeah it really impressed me that she sort of you know was able to manage that really well and not get caught on the ground there she stayed super composed and uh ended up you know winning the fight yeah i think that that's part of the arsenal i think she needs to add to her game is be able to press her opponents into the fence and use that cage wrestling to take them down you know single legs double legs we don't really see that too much from mackenzie right do you think it's because she's so comfortable off her back yeah i mean she's had a lot of success off of her back so i do understand that maybe you know it's the, e the easiest path to victory, but um, she is improving. You can see it in her striking, you know. She doesn't look as uncomfortable there as she used to. I think that there was just a really big power difference between her and Jan. So you've seen that a lot of the times when the punches landed, Mackenzie sort of would throw her head back because uh, the punch had yeah. significant impact, especially if she's running forward trying to get those takedowns. Uh, the punches were landing a lot harder. So I see the improvements in her striking and her wrestling and everything, but obviously there is still work to be done. And I would like to see her add a blast double to her arsenal. I think that would have went really well um, under some of those really long shots from Jan. It would have been nice if she had a blast double in space and Jan didn't have the cage to get up. I think it would have been a different fight. Yeah, with Jan, she 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 kind of reaches right really long yeah. sometimes, and it kind of opens up the the middle of her body right for some of the dip under, like yourself. You know, what I mean, you see, you yeah. probably see that when you're fight when you're watching the fight, like you could just dip under and take her down immediately. Yeah, but you know, Jan has that traditional striking background where you do stay really really long. So, um, it's a blessing and a curse if someone can get under your legs and blast double you, they'll take you down, but. If someone's constantly running in to try and do upper body takedowns, you know, it's really easy to, to catch them uh, with your long straight punches. And Mackenzie is an upper body takedown kind of girl. So I think they definitely did their homework um, because she she's seen that a lot of the time. 
What do you think about her striking? Do you feel like it is getting better or do you feel like it's it's just it it is what it is? Because a lot of people are criticizing her for you know focusing too much on her boxing and, and not enough on her wrestling. But I talked to her before this fight. She's she's working on her wrestling like twice a week, three times a week. You know what I mean? It's not like she's neglecting parts of her game. It's easy to sit on the couch and say, you know, <laughs> she needs to be better, she needs to do this, but she's a girl who's grappled her whole life. You know, that was her whole life before transitioning to, into MMA. So she comes in with the base of jiu-jitsu and she's learning uh, striking as a beginner in the biggest organization in the world, you know. So in my mind, she's not doing too bad because she's hanging with these girls. It's not like she's going out there and getting knocked out per se, but, you know, it does have work to be done, but she's in a good spot. And definitely I do see the improvements in her striking, but it's not an overnight fix. It's something like her jiu-jitsu took years and years to master. It's going to take years to master your striking as well. You just have to keep putting in the work, keep showing up. And same with wrestling as well. You know, I'm still working on everything also. So I feel the same way. Like you just got to keep showing up every day and one day it all clicks. So where do you, like, if you look at the rankings, right? Mackenzie was number five. Jan was number six. Now they probably switch positions, right? So you got Jessica Andrade at four. Rodriguez, who I, I believe she has a fight. Wei Lee's fighting for the title, and you got Rose there. Who do you think is the best matchup for for Jan next? Do you think it's it's Rose, Nama Yunus? Like, they should put them together? Because they kind of have a good style. They, they can mesh really well. I would love to see Jan versus Rose, but I think that that's a really tough fight for Jan, stylistically. You know, someone who likes to strike and someone who's so, like, elusive and good with her footwork and you know, she's just well-rounded, Rose, so it's a tough fight, but it's the type of fight that I think that she needs before she goes in and fights for the title, just to, you know, gain confidence and prove to herself and everyone else, you know, that she can go there and beat someone, a former champion, before going in there for the bill, and I'm sure that if she does end up fighting Rose and beating Rose somehow, her and Whaley would be an insane fight also, so I would be really down for that. Do you think the boogeyman of the division is Jessica Andrade? Like, nobody called her out, ever. I think she's got that crazy power in her hands. You know, you've seen it in every weight division, like 35, yeah. 25, and 15. And the girl somehow never changes how she looks, but makes weight every time for every weight division. So, to me, I'm just like, yeah, she's a little bit of a boogie woman and a little bit of an unknown you definitely don't want to get hit by Jessica Andrade, that's for sure. So I don't see many people wanting to just take on that fight, you know, unless they have to. Um, yeah. She's a yeah. tough test. Yeah. What about Mackenzie Dern? Where does she go? You know, I don't I don't know if she's going to fight ahead of her because she just lost. But, you know, she's she's a, she's a person that the UFC likes to promote. You know, she's this was her, you know, she was in a main event. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, you got – she's pretty much fought – almost everybody behind her. You know what I mean? If you look at it, there's like Angela Hill at 12, uh, Michelle Watterson at 11. I don't even know if Michelle Watterson's fighting anymore. Um, Piba, she fought her. Lemos, maybe, right? I don't know. Tisha yeah. Torres, she fought her. So it's yeah. like, it's hard to say where she goes from here. Maybe she goes into back into the lab and, and works on some stuff, right? And let, let the division, you know, figure itself out a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to see her take a little bit of a break and go work on some things and maybe even take a step back and fight somebody in that bottom half of the top 15, you know, just start racking up a few more wins and gaining confidence in her striking. Uh, it's really hard to fight somebody like a super hard person like Jan and try and work on your striking in that fight. Like that's a, a fight you take like a 15 or a 13 ranking and go in there and try and work on your striking with them. But you know, it was high stakes for this fight, and obviously the winner was going to move forward to big things, and the loser was going to have to take a step back. But, um, you know, Mackenzie will build back for sure. She's still young, and like you said, the UFC likes her, so I'm sure that they'll help push her and help, uh, you know, give her some fights where she can work on some things and get better and then come back.